Welcome cooks and foodies. I'm David DeBarry, chef and owner of the cookery restaurant in Dobbs Ferry. I want to welcome you to my playground where you and I are going to always eat serious and have fun. Today we are making two dishes based around one really sexy item and it's called bone marrow. Bone marrow is the soft fatty tissue located in any of the leg bones of a veal or a cow and it's used as a delicacy in most uh, European countries and today we're going to bring it to your table with two simple, simple preparations. One, we're going to actually roast the marrow in the oven with garlic and thyme and serve it just how it should be over grilled, crusty Italian bread, just like butter. You have to understand one thing, the marrow, when hot, eats just like butter. It's actually better than butter. So we're going to utilize it in its fullest right here in this dish. And the other one, we're going to take the rest of the marrow and we're going to turn it into lovely, light, fluffy love pillows or dumplings if you will. You could even call them gnocchi in some parts of Italy, especially in the north where it's actually almost German. So let's get started with bone marrow. Let's remember one thing before we even get started. When we take, when we serve bone marrow, the night before, after you've talked to your butcher, because you're going to talk to your butcher, especially if he's good, and you're going to go to him and you're going to say, listen, I need marrow bones and you're going to take your bandsaw and you're going to slice them down the middle and I want to see it all and that's it right there. But after that, you need to do one little thing. You need to soak those guys in water or milk. What happens is when you soak it in milk, the lactic acid actually starts to pull out. If you can see, there's a pinkish hue. That's the blood, okay? We want to just kind of leach the blood out of the marrow so we have a perfectly white, wobbly, sexy, marrow when it's roasted, okay? So when we soak them in water or milk, we'll get rid of that blood overnight. So what we're going to do now is we're going to transfer these bones to our sheet tray and we're going to sprinkle them with one of life's perfectly simple and delicious ingredients, garlic, thyme, salt and pepper because that's all it's going to need. So we're going to start by mincing our garlic and when I say mince, if you've been watching this food show or any other for a long time, you'll know that it's a fine, fine chop. So we're going to mince the garlic. Run your knife through it so we can get it nice and fine. And we're going to take it right to the marrow. We're going to sprinkle this all over the marrow the open face part of the marrow. And then we're going to sprinkle some fresh thyme. Thyme, I'm sure you're up to date on thyme right now, but it's very similar to oregano, a little bit sweeter, and doesn't have such a pungent pizza sauce flavor, if you will. Of course, salt and pepper. And now we're going to pop these guys in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. And when we come back, we're going to get to work with our sexy bone marrow. Welcome back to my playground. And now our bone marrow has been in the oven for 15 minutes and it's ready to be eaten. And there you have it. Actually, if we tried, I don't know if anything could get any better than that right now. This is like a party that I can't wait to get to. Bubbling, hot, buttery, soft bone marrow. Just begging, begging to be putting on a piece of toast right now. You can smell the roast from the bones. You can smell the butter. You can smell the goodness that's going to happen right now in your mouth. Well, my mouth. You're gonna try this at home. So now we're gonna take three pieces of airy, crusty, light Tuscan style bread and we're going right to the grill. This bread is gonna be used as a vessel for our bone marrow to enter our mouth. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna drizzle this with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper on both sides. And we're going right to the grill. It's 
so our bone marrow is ready, and this is the part I've been waiting for all day. We're gonna take the bone marrow to the plate. Be careful, these guys are hot. And we're coming over with our grilled Tuscan bread, an ample amount so we can get all that luscious bone marrow. And then all we're gonna do is top it with something sweet, okay? I've got here balsamic onions. Onions have been cooked down in balsamic vinegar and sugar. Now you could use figs, you could use a fig marmalade, some kind of jam, anything that you'd like to cut through the fattiness and the richness of this bone marrow and go cream out that crusty Tuscan bread. And that is roasted bone marrow with grilled Tuscan bread and sweet balsamic onions. Oh my God. It's heaven on earth. It's everything that I wanted since I walked in here today. When we come back, I'm gonna show you how to take this bone marrow and apply it to another sexy dish, what I call bone marrow dumplings. And it's gonna be great for any soup, stock, or broth that you have at home. These dumplings are gonna enlighten the whole thing. Let's do it again. I'll see you when I come back.